Now, let's talk a little bit about the stamped steel. A lot of people have a lot of problems with stamped steel clutches. And a lot of it is generated right here with the center plate. This particular center plate has dowel pins in it. Make a real special note here. Before you install this thing, make sure the dowel pins are flush with the center plate right here. Another thing about the stamped steel, usually we're not very picky about aligning the actual buttons in your 14s and 15 and halves, but on the stamped steel it makes a little bit of a difference because it uses a very light plate load. Now, the standard disc on stamped steel is a three pad button. Align the buttons or stack them. Make sure that they're all aligned properly like this before installing the clutch. Now, if you'll notice the paint marks, the cover is set with the center plate. Make sure you align that. What this allows you is that the dowel pin will be offset from the dowel pin reset hole in the cover. So if you're having a problem, you can go in with a punch and a hammer and reset the dowel pin. Now, the next thing we want to talk about a little bit here is we can also use the Cat 1, if you have to, on this cover. Again, as I talked about before, we have a common diameter. So you can simply mount it on the cover, and you can go through the same procedure you did with the 14-inch cast or the 15 and a half. Now, note, we also use the half to 9 sixteenths as far as our A dimension, and it's very important, especially on the cast covers, and on these that you don't overstroke the cover. What I mean by overstroking is if you have the bearing set too high, you can actually, if you pull this bearing back over a half or nine sixteenths, the levers will actually kick the plate down and lock the unit up. So if the clutch is working as you're releasing the pedal, or when you're pushing the pedal down and then stops working, you're overstroking the cover. Go back and reset the linkage and reset your A-dimension. A lot of people ask me, how do you adjust a Vallejo clutch? They see this thing and there's no adjusting mechanism like there is on the stamped steel or the cast covers. Well, what you do on a Vallejo is, to actually adjust the clutch when you lose your free pedal, is you actually move the bearing back away from the fork assembly. What you do is, it has a spanner nut lock on the bottom. You take your hammer and your chisel, and you loosen it up, and then it allows you to actually lengthen or shorten the bearing. You'll do that until you get your eighth inch clearance back for your free pedal. That is all there is to it. And don't forget to reset the lock. Take it back down, take your hammer, and punch and lock this down. Otherwise, the sleeve will keep moving back and forth. That's all there is to adjusting a Vallejo-style clutch.